Hi there, this is Craig Dennison with Fly Fishing Chronicles and today we're going to tie a white chenille streamer which is an awesome tributary pattern for our Great Lakes for uh, salmon, browns and steelhead from September through May. I'm going to let the camera get a little bit closer and then we'll talk uh, about the materials and tying this wonderfully effective pattern. Real simple materials. Um, standard streamer hook. In this case I've got a Dairiki, uh number 700, size 4, but you can go, tie this in 4 through 8 or 10 uh, and vary the size of your chenille and other um, materials. So I have a, a real key part of this is are the hot beads. In this case I've got Spirit River hot beads, but you can use whatever type you want. So I'm going to slip that hot bead on the hook, put it in my Renzetti uh, cam lever traveler uh, vise, which I love. Um, and I'm going to start our, our body. or start a little simple thread base. Tap in the thread base. Okay, other materials for this are for tail. Tailing material, I'm going to use uh, white marabou. Although you can use, if you really want, ostrich fibers, which work well. We're going to use uh, some white woolly bugger chenille. Although if you'd rather use Estaz, that works well. You might have to trim the Estaz a touch, but that's a great material also. And uh, to finish the fly, we'll use a nice webby uh, white soft tackle. So I've got my thread base down. I'm going to take my uh, marabou and just kind of stroke that out. And I want the tail to be about maybe a little less than uh, half the, the length of the hook shank. So using pinching, I'm going to transfer it. And just lay it right on top of that hook shank. And then nice, tight, quick wraps. Some people might want to weight this. Uh, you can certainly use uh, non-toxic lead if you want to weight this. Give it a little bigger profile and more weight, although I like to use sink tips that get it down just fine. So notice I've got a really nice tapered uh, tail of marabou and that, that really moves well. A really quick easy body is I've got my white woolly bugger chenille. I'm going to pinch wrap that, pinch wrap that, tie that in quick. Move your bodkin towards the hot bead and then using that, that um, rotary vise, just a quick spiraled body, nice and tight. So I wrapped up tight against the bead. At this point, I'm really putting some pressure on this, making sure this doesn't come out. With an angle, I'm going to trim it. Use my nail to kind of tuck any tabs and in there. Next, we're going to grab your soft tackle and find that sweet spot in the soft tackle where it's 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 still soft and long, but not too webby. And so I found that. I'll leave a little, just a touch of a tag end. And this is not a, a you know, a, I'm not worried about a little tag end sticking in there. I'm going to take that tag end and just bind it down tightly. So got a couple tight wraps on that. And then using my fingers, I'm just going to wrap that wonderful um, soft tackle around. You know, two wraps is good. Two, two and a halfs. Fine. Hold it tight. One. I'm really binding that down against that bead head, that hot bead. And again, trim it at angle. Now I've got this nice webby soft tackle right behind the, the hot bead or the eye. I'm using my fingers just to stroke and push it back a little bit before I, I tie it down. So I've helped push that hot, soft tackle into position. Just a quick wrap or two and it's going back so it's good profile. Use your whip finisher. Notice the constant thread pressure. And I'm going to apply a dot, just a dab of this head cement on it. So here you've got a really effective fall pattern, which is a great profile, great movement, a little bit of flash, and that chartreuse bead that's just like a, a magnet uh, for steelhead. Although browns and steelhead or salmon also take it. You can vary the hot bead color if you want, but it's a quick several minute tie. It's, it represents bait fish, you know, which which a lot of those fish feed on or it, it triggers a territorial response. You know, you can use it as a streamer, you can you can dead drift it, 
You can put it under an indicator. You can actively retrieve it. Lots and lots of ways to fish this in our tributaries, and it catches plenty of fish. Again, I'm Craig Dennison with uh, Fly Fishing Chronicles. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this white soft tackle chenille streamer.